Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and today I'm going to be talking about all of the reading plans that I have for November. Baby, baby. Let's not talk about the zit on my face. It is currently shark week, so yeah. <laughs> I'm not setting my expectations too high for this TBR just because I am going to be at the end of term towards the end of term. I think the last week of term for me is the first week or second week of December. So it's like rolling towards the end, which is insane. I feel like we just started school um, for the semester. But anyway, I do have, I think, 10 books here that I'm going to share with you that I will hopefully be reading. We will see if I actually get to them. That's why the majority of them are audio, because I know that probably I will not be able to get to any physical books and barely any ebooks this month. So I do have my spinner wheels. So if you didn't know, I have channel memberships where you can join down below. There's a join button down below that you can click on. And so my members get to pick um, any book for me to read on Kindle Unlimited. And I put all the recommendations on a spinner wheel and then I spin the wheel. And then whatever book I pick, I will be going in depth reading about it during my weekly reading vlogs that are only for channel members. So if you want to pick out a book for me to read every single month, be sure to check out channel memberships, which are linked on my channel page. Anyway, okay, so let's pick one. Why is this the third time Jen's book has won? Jen, are you like putting some voodoo on my spinner wheel? I swear. <laughs> this is the third month in a row that Jen's pick has won. Okay, so I just checked Jen's book out. Like I checked it out on um, Amazon and it's actually not on KU. So unfortunately that doesn't meet the parameters. I forgot to check out, make sure that the books that they put on the list are on KU. Um, unfortunately this one is not. Um, and I'm currently not buying any books and so I'm sorry, but it's not on KU, so I cannot read it. So we're going to spin again. We have one moment, please. Okay, let's see what this book is. This was recommended by my lovely friend, Spirit. Yeah, okay, this is on KU. But it's the third book in a series. Ugh. You know what? I'm going to message her and ask her if I can read this book out of order. And then if not, whatever. Well, I'll read book one in the series if she says that. Okay. Okay. I will message spirit and update later, I guess. <laughs> um, but yeah, this just looks like a doctor romance and it's a surprise pregnancy standalone. But it's the third book in a series, so... I'll message her to see if it matters if I read them out of order or not. Let's pick a book from my TBR jar. I rarely end up reading this book, but it's still fun to pick from a TBR jar. These are all my physical books back here on this shelf. Um, all of them are in here. And so let's pick one. Let's see. This one is... Ooh. Okay, I have... Can't really read it. I have The Bronze Horseman by Paulina Simmons. I know this is some people's favorite book ever, some people's worst hated book ever. So we will see that. I know this is a World War, I think World War II historical fiction romance book. Okay, so it's not on audio either. So I'd have to physically read this giant book. It's like this thick. So I doubt that I'll get to this in November, but if I need a book to read physically, I guess that book will be the one that I choose. Okay, so let's get into the books that I've actually chosen for myself that I'm really excited about. First, I have The Ippos King by Grace Draven. I'm currently rereading the second book in this series. The first book is Radiance. I'm currently rereading Eidolon. Um, and this is the third, the third book in the series, in the Wraith King series. And I don't want to talk too much about this because it is the third book in a series. This is a fantasy romance series by the lovely, beautiful goddess Grace Draven. Cervec is a human man and Anuzet is a Kai woman. They're of two different fantasy species of people. <laughs> don't really know how to describe it. Um, but she's like a warrior woman. She's the leader of um, the king's warriors and then he is from a rivaling clan and man he is fantastic and she is fantastic in the previous books and i just can't wait to read about their love story in this book <laughs> then i have the last book in the wicked villain series we have queen takes rose yeah this is book number six in the wicked villain series um this whole series is about romances between kind of like the hero and the villain of disney fairy tale retelling kind of things so this is the romance between malone and aurora so this is kind of like a reimagining of maleficent and 
Sleeping Beauty, Aurora. I don't know anything about this book and I'm not gonna read the summary at all just because I like going into Katie Roberts books completely blind um, because I feel like they just are more appealing that way. Um, but I just read The Sea Witch last month and I really enjoyed it. Um, and so hopefully this last book is as amazing as the previous books in the series. Then I have The Many Sins of Lord Cameron, which is book number three in the Mackenzie's and McBride series. I was looking at my romance series, I Need to Continue video. I'll link it down below if you haven't watched it yet. But basically, I think over the summer I made a video talking about enlisting all of the romance series that I've yet to finish yet. And so this was one of the series that I needed to finish and I've only read books one and two and I want to read the rest of the series. And so this is a historical romance series. I absolutely adored book one. Book two was good. It wasn't my favorite ever, but I'm hoping that the rest of the series is just amazing. This one is about Cameron McKenzie and he is a man who loves only horses and women in that order or so his mistresses say. Ainsley Douglas is a woman with a strong sense of justice and the desire to help others, even if that means sneaking around a rakish man's bedchamber, which is exactly where Cam finds her, six years after he caught her for the first time. Only then he convinced Cam she was seeking a liaison, but couldn't go through with it because of her husband. Now a widow, she's on a mission to retrieve letters that could prove embarrassing to the queen. Cam has no interest in Ainsley's subter subterfuge <laughs> but he vows to finish what they started those many years ago one game one kiss at a time he plans to seduce her and what starts out as a lusty diversion may break cam's own rules and heal the scars of a dark and damaging past that sounded really good i want to continue on with this series i don't know much about cam um, from the previous books that we've read but i do know that people really love the first like five books in this series so i'm really excited for this then i have falling from the sky by serena bowen this is another book that is a part of the series that i want to finish um this is the second book in the gravity series now the first book i didn't actually like and i'm hoping this book is way better i have heard that this book has disability representation so i'm hoping that will be better than what book one had it says bad boy hank used to have everything a gorgeous girlfriend a career as a freestyle snowboarder and a spot on the u.s olympic team nine months ago after a bad crash on the half pipe he woke up in the hospital unable to move his legs now he's landed there again but gravity is not the culprit with his family pressuring him to try a groundbreaking treatment hank self-medicates with too much tequila instead dr callie anders has the courage to restart a patient's heart with a thousand volts of electricity yet she's afraid to risk her own so she doesn't confess her newest patient to her newest patient that they met before the accident an encounter he doesn't remember even as their friendship develops she won't admit that she regrets turning him down turning down his dinner invitation or that her heart stutters every time those inked shoulders roll through the door of the ther therapy department with another vermont winter coming again hank needs a hand out from under the avalanche of his disappointments if only kelly were brave enough to take job um so this sounds a lot more promising than book one i'm just gonna say book one had a surprise baby trope that was not in the summary so i'm kind of hoping that does not happen in here <laughs> so it looks like our hero is coming to grips with the fact that he now has a disability um and our heroine is the doctor that helps him out that sounds really great really amazing and a sports romance on top of that i hope i love this one then i have enthralled by tiffany roberts this is the second book in the spiders mate series i recently read ensnared last month that was one of my member picks and so this is just a continuation of that this is the alien romance series where a heroine ivy she crash lands in a spaceship when she's in cryo sleep with a bunch of other people on this alien planet and then our hero um what's his name katan 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 it's an alien name y'all he lives in the jungle part of his planet and uh he comes across her spaceship one day and ends up accidentally waking her from cryo sleep and like takes her back to his cave and like is like this will be a great pet for me and then he slowly starts to realize that ivy isn't a pet she's a human being that actually has like thoughts and feelings and can communicate with him um and then they start to fall in love with each other it is super sweet hot and fun i loved book one and so i'm hoping to love book two as much as i loved book one i thought i would do a shout out mug i have uh, every single person that i'm subscribed to on booktube whether they're big or small in this jar and so let's let's shout somebody out today i thought it would be fun let's pick whatever this one is i love i love picking things out of jars don't you know super duper fun this one is 
Oh, it's Shanice, Shanice Noel. Hopefully I'm saying that correctly. I believe she's from the Netherlands, right? I may be totally off base, but she has a beautiful accent. I love her. Um, she's super sweet, super kind. She reads quite a variety of things, but I know she loves romance books. I know she has been reading um, Brandon Sanderson, if I'm correct. I know she reads big fantasy books. Um, I know she loves Sarah J Mass. There was one vlog that I read of hers where she was just rereading the Throne of Glass series um, for fun and like annotating it, um, which was super fun. I just love her. She makes amazing, beautiful, if you love reading vlogs, you must watch her videos because they have she has beautiful amazing reading vlogs that are just so fun to watch um and i just love her personality she's very organic and nice and sweet and i just love her channel and so if you want to find a new romance booktuber or a booktuber in general um please go check out shanice's channel i will link it down below for you to go check out okay next i have a warm heart in winter by jr ward this is book number 18.5 in the Black Dagger Brotherhood series. I'm slowly making my way through the Black Dagger Brotherhood series. This one, I believe, is about Blay and Quinn, who you previously saw in previous books. Like, they have their own book, and I think this is, like, technically a novella, but it's not really a novella because it's, like, this thick, but it's a mass market paperback. I don't own it, so I can't show you. But I feel like this will get me right in the mood for winter season, y'all. For Christmas season, for December, whatever you want to call it, like that time of year is beautiful and so this will hopefully get me in that mood so i might read it towards the end of the month then i have in bed with a highlander by maya banks i'm trying to read more of maya banks's works more of her books because i just adore her writing i adore her writing i think she's an amazing fantastic writer so i'm like i want to read more books by her so this book is on libby for me to listen to this is the first book in the macabre macabre i don't know how to pronounce that i'm so sorry that trilogy. So this is about Iwan, who is apparently the oldest out of the brothers. I think this trilogy is about three brothers. Um, so Iwan is the eldest and he is a warrior determined to vanquish his enemy. So he and his men are ripe for battle. He's ready to take back what is his until a blue-eyed raven-haired temptress is thrust upon him. Marion may be the salvation of Iwan's clan, but for a man who dreams of only revenge, matters of the heart are strange territory to conquer. The illegitimate daughter of the king, Marion possesses prized property that can make her a pawn and weary of love. Her worst fears are realized when she is rescued from peril only to be forced into marriage by her charismatic and commanding savior, Iwan. But her attraction to her ruggedly powerful husband makes her crave his surprisingly tender touch. Her body comes alive under his sensual mastery. And as war draws, draws near, Marion's strength, spirit, and passion challenge, challenges Iwan to conquer his demons and embrace a love that means more than revenge and land. I love Maya Banks. I want to read more historical romances and this audiobook was available for me to download so you best be sure I downloaded this one and will be reading it very soon. Then I thought it would be fun to maybe put a Kindle Unlimited book on my TBR that I'm kind of interested in. I just picked a alien romance book that was on my KU shelf on Amazon. So we have Barbarian King's Mate, a sci-fi alien romance by Ivy Sparks. I expected something to go wrong during this expedition, but I didn't expect him. This planet was supposed to be unpopulated. Well, someone needs to be fired because there are freaking barbarians here and they aren't exactly friendly. But then there's Gareth. He's different from the rest. There's something about his devilish horns, his striking tattoos, and his possessive stare that sets my body on fire. Problem is, his people are a bit hostile towards outsiders and who can blame them? They've been hunted across the galaxy for years, but until I find my radio, I'm stuck here at their mercy. That typically doesn't bode well for a single fertile female. Gareth has saved me from certain death before, but can he protect me from his own tribe? There's only one way to make sure no one else touches me. He has to claim me for himself. He has to make me his queen. Oh, that sounds so stinking good. Oh my gosh. And it's only 270 pages. Uh, I'm excited for this. I'm gonna download this very soon. Then I have another audiobook, very short audiobook I could listen to. We have The Scandalous Dissolute No Good Mr. Right by Tessa Dare. I'm almost completely done with Tessa Dare's backlist. I have like less than six, seven books to go. This is about Miss Eliza Cade, who is a lady in waiting. And she is currently waiting. Because of a foolish mistake of her youth, she is not allowed out in society until her three older sisters are wed. But while she's trying to be good, she keeps bumping elbows and more distressingly lips with the notorious rake, Harry Wright. Every moment she spends with him, she risks complete ruin. The sensual passions he stirs in her are so wrong, but Eliza can't resist Mr. Wright. <gasps> that sounds so good. 
and Tessa Dare is just amazing. So I bet this is just gonna be an amazing novella for me to listen to. And lastly, I have The Professional by Cressley Cole. Now, I know a lot of people have recommended this series if you wanna get into mafia books. I love mafia books and I wanna read more of them. And then this book is available for me to listen to on Libby. And it's by Cressley Cole, who I love. I've read all of her Immortals After Dark books and I adore them. So hopefully I really like this one. So this is about Alexei and he's a part of the mafia. And then he meets the mafia's long lost daughter, a curvy, feisty redhead who haunts his mind and heats his blood like no other. In order to protect her, Alexei will do anything to possess her. So apparently Natalie has seen Alexei before and she barely recovered from her first sight of the dark and breathtaking man. But then she was whisked away to Russia, thrusting her into a world of extreme wealth and wanton pleasures. Every day under his protection leads her deeper into his masterful spell. Yet not all is as it seems. To remove Natalie from an enemy's reach, Alexei spirits her into hiding from an opulent palace in Russia to the decadent playgrounds of the mega wealthy in Paris. The two lovers will discover that even their darkest and most forbidden fantasies can't come true. I'm excited about this. I know that people really love this series. Um, so I can't wait to read this one and then the other two as well whenever I can get to them. So there you have it. Those are the books that I have on my November TBR. Please let me know down below if you have read any of these books or if you plan to, or if you want to buddy read any of these books with me, please let me know down below. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.